Good Sunday morning, guys. How are you doing? I am just sitting here and starting to... Well, I want to start painting something for the Nebuchadnezzar contest. You saw that one I did last night. Um, it is a lot more detailed if you come in with the light. Um, you don't probably see all the things. But if you get like really close, you can see like there's so many small little dots, which took me a long time to do. Um, this one here I'm going to send to Nepa when I'm when the contest is over. Tired, really, really tired. And uh, yeah, what else? What else? Um, I haven't really got any plans today, so I think I might go out in the workshop and clear up a little bit, and then maybe try and film a little bit of fingerboarding. Um, I said for a while that, that I wanted to do a fingerboard edit, but I never got around to do it. So that is like kind of like something I like to do now, to make a fingerboard edit. Um, just hope I can nail some tricks, we'll see. <laughs> I haven't been fingerboarding much, I am one of the only ones I know here in the area of fingerboards like, or have fingerboarded properly, uh, seriously. Which is a little bit lonely sometimes, but um, we'll see, um, I just gotta try and keep it up. Um, I will admit though, Kendama has really taken so much of my time. I love Kendama and um, I know a lot of you guys out there which are fingerboards are annoyed that you don't really see much of my fingerboard stuff anymore, but uh, Kendama is to me really, really awesome and it's very challenging. So is fingerboarding. But the thing about Kendama is you don't need a table, you don't need an obstacle, or at least you don't need some surface to ride on where you're with Kendama. You can just play wherever you are. Um, but I will try and step up my game in coming back to fingerboarding because I do miss it a lot. Um, I'll just try and I'll have to try and find the joy of doing it on my own. All right, so I added some more to it. As you can see, I put like a, a dotted shade around some of the edges, and also did a, a black line around the edge. That's like that's like it. I think that's really really well done. But not only that, man, you won't believe this. Um, you you some of you probably remember CW Pub One Christian Weiser. He also has jewelry um, company uh, CW Jewelry on Facebook, and he had a competition where um, people should write a reason why they want to win and share it and all that. And I did that, and I was like, oh my god, because I won and I won this bracelet here. It's really really cool. It's made by Christian, and they're like expensive beads. They're not cheap. Um, so. That is crazy, I can't believe I won that, so thank you so much Christian, oh, I'm excited, oh, I'm going to get a cool bracelet for him, it's going to be cool, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing it when I go out and stuff like that. It's so windy outside, it's crazy, it's like almost hurricane, and um, I don't really know um, what to uh, to do, so um, yeah, I can't be outside, I'm going to show you guys how much it's blowing outside. Um, that's why I can't do anything outside. It's really, really windy. But it's, it's a beautiful day though. But it's windy. And we got moles. If I show you down there, we got mole hills. I'm getting annoyed with these moles. There's a mole hill. And a bit further down. And way back down the garden behind the trampoline and all that, I, um, I removed some other mole holes. Oh yeah. But, um... What else to do besides that drawing contest there? Nothing really, but I think this has turned out really nice and um, I kind of like it. So this is going to be my submission for the Nepa. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do this, but now nah, this is going to be it. <laughs> We're going outside um, to excel out for a walk even though it's very, very windy. But um, she needs to go out. She needs to get some fresh air. And... Uh, uh, that's the bastard. Would you believe that one day it was thundering like crazy and he took the horses out while it was thundering and also because the horses were scared and didn't want to go into the actual enclosure he took the string you got where they got around where he pulls them in around the head, head uh, mound or whatever you call it and he swung at it right in the face really really hard and then pushed the horse in and kicked it on the back leg I was not happy about that and um Paul's going to go to the council tomorrow um, because our kitchen is like basically an infestion of flies just because of him um, and not only us but all the neighbours, the whole area around here are really really annoyed with it um, with all the flies and it's really is extreme, it is a problem 
So um, just making sure all the windows are closed before we go out. That one needs to be closed. So um, it's not so bad up here. Flies don't tend to go that high, but the kitchen downstairs is full of them. We have to wipe everything off all the time. And uh, you can't sit alone downstairs for two minutes. Um, because flies are normally not, like Paul said the flies in the UK would normally just fly around the top of the ceiling and maybe sit on a lamp. These have fly into your face, land on you everywhere and they're just really, really annoying. You're like, oh, you're just ready to freak out any second when these bloody flies are in. So Paul, a lot of people want to see you a bit more in the videos. Look at this, guys. Flopsy wopsy face. Got dirty legs. If you're gonna go in the water, we're going to the beach. So, what are you gonna to say to all the people who want to see more of you in the videos? Are you gonna join in more? If I feel comfortable, yes. Mm. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You are a little bit camera shy. Well, I, normally I can't get my face in edge ready for you. Ooh, get you. Look at little Ming, she's ready to go out. Right, I'm gonna catch you out on the walk if you can hear anything because it's so windy so. The wind might go in the microphone all the time. So we got to the beach and it's actually quite windy. I'm trying to try and see if I can shield a little bit. But uh, the wind is blown towards the water, which is a dangerous wind normally when kids go out and, like inflatable toys and stuff. They're being pulled further out. Um, yeah, Sally was playing in some mud or something the other day or last night. So she was like kind of dirty on her paws. That's why we got out here today, so she can have them. But the water is surprisingly nice and warm. Really, really nice. Look at my white feet. Pale like a mealworm. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's quite windy, so I have to stay like this. So, it does look like rain over by the bridge. And you can see it's actually quite cool. Me and Paul are wearing, um, we're wearing hoodies because it's not very warm, really. Thank you, Sally. You have to go for a poo right there. I think we got bags. Don't go too far if you're gonna trip. <laughs> I like how to see out the sand, how it makes these waves under the water. Can you see it? The sand dunes. The water is so nice and warm. Poo! I can smell it. I need to go and pick it up. I'll be right back, guys. I don't know how much you guys can see. I'm trying to shade for the wind because it's so windy right here. We're out on the bridge now, and Sally's just been in a couple of times. I'm gonna show the uh, Great Belt Bridge at night. It looks very nice. See, it's all lit up. And a couple of years ago, the biggest suspension bridge in Denmark. Can't see anything. It's so dark. You gonna have one more swim, Sally? One more. In here. Come on. Get in. Plop. And then get the staircase. You need to hit it properly. That's it. Then move away, Paul, because you're going to shake. <laughs> That's nice. You're all clean now. But no, that, that um, is the bridge which Denmark is proud of, but we hate it in some ways. When they built the bridge many years ago, the, the rule or the, the words were that as soon as the bridge was paid off, we had to pay a toll to cross it. As soon as that was paid, all Danish vehicles should be able to cross free of charge. And then only uh, commercial like uh, lorries and freight and stuff like that would have to pay for it and also uh, tourists. But uh, normal Danish people should be able to just cross it. Uh, but then they found out how much money came in and just keeping that so they kept doing that. And now it costs us like, I would say about, how much would that be? A return over that bridge and back again same day would cost easily about forty dollars forty five dollars and that's just to go from one part of Denmark to another part of Denmark what if you got family on both sides I mean my sister lives on the other side and a lot of my older family like from my dad's cousins all that live on the other side it's something called Jutland or Yulin so we don't get to see them very often because it's so expensive and we also have a train a tunnel going under the water halfway um, which is also very amazing, but again, train ride is so expensive over there. But the wind is getting more crazy out here, I don't know if you can sense it, but uh, we're gonna go in now. What's the matter? You just wanna go in again? Alright, that's gonna be your last time, Adam. Wow, it's so windy here. Go on, last time. Go on. Go on, Sally. Go on. Let's 
gonna be the last dip before we go home. Go on then. Get in. <laughs> what are you doing? Go on. Go in. Get in. Go on. Jump. Go on. Get in. Come on. Nah, she had enough. All right. We're gonna catch you guys back home because you can't hear anything when I do this. Wind. <laughs> So we're back home again. Well, I'll be home for a little while. We're home um, from the beach and it started raining. So, um, good thing that uh, I finished off the camera and we walked back there. <sighs> oh, I'm really tired and I want to go to sleep. And someone else is very tired too. Can you see that little sweet thing sleeping over there? Rop, 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 rop. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you a lot. Yes, I do. So yeah, um, I went out again and tried to do some more fingerboarding, but nope, today is just one of those days uh, where I can't really do anything. Like yesterday, um, Saturday was a very bad day for me doing Kendama. But anyways guys, um, we're going to see you all tomorrow, so uh, take good care, uh, stay awesome and epic. Hope you have a great week. Of all those Danish kids who start in school tomorrow, well, we'll have started when you see this. Um, hope you have a great day. And uh, don't forget to click that like button, that helped me out a lot. And um, yeah, look after yourself. Stay awesome and it. Peace! Sticker here, and you can see that I added some colours by the end, so the black. And that was, uh, uh, my friends have told me to do that, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, and you can see I made a lot of blue drops. Oh, dear.